All right, so I, I see a lot of people trying to make uh, a knob of a certain shape, um, which it's basically just like a perfect half sphere on one end, uh, a straight line down the middle, and then another half sphere. Um, and the easiest way I've ever found to do this is just make a cylinder, select half of your cylinder. Um, you can see half of it is selected. Extrude all of those faces. Um, go into your regular move tool. If you try to use the extrude uh, move tool, it's going to be real weird. Um, so just, you know, regular move tool and drag that down. Um, and that makes the, the shape for you. Um, the other thing that I found that you can do if you're thinking ahead and you need to smooth this um, is, oh my god, that's obnoxiously high. Alright, um, so if you're thinking ahead uh, and you know you're going to need to smooth this, um, you can just grab these guys here um, before you do the initial extrude. Uh, extrude in slightly and go to your regular move tool, I prefer, uh, and then control scale on the uh, y-axis, or whichever axis you don't need. Um, so you'll see now that I have uh, one edge loop on the top, and while I'm here, I might as well just grab these guys and just scale those down. Uh, now I have uh, equally spaced edge loops on the top and bottom, so it's going to be the same uh, sort of hardness on that curve. Uh, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the first one. I'm just going to select uh, all of these vertices here, or I'm sorry, all of those faces, um, extrude, regular move tool. Uh, I'm just hitting W. Uh, and then I'll pull those down. Um, and again, that gives you pretty much the exact same shape. Um, it's just if you smooth it, now it's harder. And the difference is if I... So I'll try to do this. Um, and if I wanted to smooth this, um, so I'll extrude. Um, if I scale it, it usually... Sometimes, this is actually like not too bad, but sometimes like on these weird shapes, it doesn't do a great job of scaling um, evenly. Um, but the other reason I prefer to do it beforehand if I'm thinking about it is um, literally just because I won't get this like curvature on these, these loops here. Um, you'll see that these guys are perfectly straight going across, which I just think is easier to work with. Um, but I mean, it, it basically gives you the same effect. Um, the other thing, if you need to, so you'll notice, I mean, if you throw a texture on this, uh, it would be really obvious, but... You're going to get some stretching down here um, because these loops are... There's nothing in here to sort of hold these where they are. So they're stretching down and getting like crazy points. Like they're straight here, like completely flat, and then you smooth it and they get like really bendy. Um, which is something you'd want to fix. So just grab all these vertices in here um, and just extrude those and scale those down. Um, so now you'll notice when you smooth it, um, there's still a little bit of stretching, but like that's normal. It's what happens with smooth models, but it's significantly less than it was before. Um, the alternate way to do that is if you don't like extruding uh, would be to just insert an edge loop tool like boom and boom. Um, I just like extruding because it, it guarantees your model to be uh, symmetrical, which I think is, is nice. But yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much how you make a button of the shape should you need to.